Hi, my name's Kai, you're here with Rife Magazine, and today we've got George Ferguson for an interview. Hey there. Hello, Kai. We wanted to talk to you today about some of the things that you did when you were young. So what was it like for young George Ferguson growing up? I had an amazing life because my dad was in the military, and so we travelled a lot. He was in NATO, so uh, we lived in Gibraltar in Norway, in the north of England, Northumberland, and and in the south. But I had this fascinating life of always being in different places. How are Bristol's youth services important to you? They're very important. I think there was an understandable movement of emphasis from place, that is youth club, to provision for young people in terms of one-to-one -one services for those who absolutely need it. And I understand that movement to a more personal service, but what I would fight against is the loss of the community service, the loss of the youth club, the loss of the adventure playground, because I think that that serves such an important purpose in the terms of ownership. I think young people should own their own places. That's not divorcing the need of the local authority to play its part, but I think it's really important for young people to feel in control of their own lives. So how do you keep track of what issues are affecting young people in Bristol? Well, we have uh, the, the Youth Council, which is 28 young people, elected by an electorate of about uh, over 20,000 now, at least more than half of those vote, so we get more than 10,000 voting for our Youth Council, um, and out of those Youth Council uh, emerge uh, two youth mayors. They advise me, and I also try and keep in contact with the Youth Council. I've got this ready-made group of people, and I really, really value that. So, how long have you been mayor for now? It's now just over three years, and uh, after three and a half years, we've got the election coming up in May. And But when I decided I would stand as an independent mayor, which is quite a project, because I don't have any party machinery, so I had to do everything from scratch. Um, and I've lived in the city now for 50 years and, uh, and I love it and I could see that it uh, probably needed better governance and I had the uh, stupid idea that I might be able to do it better than had gone before. So have you enjoyed being mayor? It's not all joy, but I thrive on it. It's not joy to be shouted at and screamed at and blamed for everything. So as long as I feel that I'm doing the right thing, or at least that I'm doing what I do for the right reasons, as long as I believe in that, I can withstand anything. That seems to be the important thing, yeah. yeah. 